being the fastest is, in my opinion, not the, the right expression. Moving boundaries might be the right expression. And right now, heading for the 300 mile barrier for a serious hyper sports car, uh, this is the boundary we were heading for. And this is what we'd like to achieve. The biggest challenge is to get the overall package right. So that means not only design, not only aerodynamics, not only engine, not only tires, is to get everything together and working in one car. The key was a good team and it was easy to find these people within Bugatti. I think most people have been 150 miles an hour sometime during their life. If you then add just another 30 to make it 180, that's a whole different world. Then when you get to 200, it's a lot faster than 180. So when you're talking about 300, it's a massive, massive step. Everything is fine, and you can start. At that kind of speed, normally aeroplanes are flying in the air. And um, you have to make sure that the car will stay on the ground, is stable, and not that nervous that the driver feels comfortable in the car and that you can drive uh, that kind of speed without any risk. To get everything worked together in one moment and to head for the 300 mile boundary, it was like heading for the, for the pinnacle of automobile competition. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a perfect day for Bugatti. We are the first manufacturer to beat the barrier of 300 miles per hour. And this shows what the men and the women of Bugatti are capable of. Automotive enthusiasts from all around the world have been waiting for this moment. They have been encouraging us. And we heard you loud and clear. So this world record is for all of you. However, ladies and gentlemen, this was the very last time for us. We were the first ones to achieve this incredible milestone. And we engraved our names in the history books forever. From now on, our minds and our focus will stay on different projects. But one thing is for sure, we will have a great future ahead. Vive la marque!